didn't have a full vision for the game in the first week, but within the first month, I think we pretty much had the, the core, core elements. It was how to control it, how to, how to make it engage in, all those things came much later. So we got to the point where we were controlling our squad. So we focused on that in isometric. We had the characters moving around on this flat, flat floor. Um, we made it multiplayer, so right from the word go. And then I introduced a sort of, it was like a little ball that would fire out, to, and it was just a sprite, you know, around one single colour object. And if it hit you, you lost one of your men. And then we got the sort of movement, the shooting, the, you know, the, that kind of model going. We had one gun to start with. And when that was fun, we thought, what guns can we do? Well, what guns do we want? Well, we want a rocket launcher, we want a flamethrower, we want a minigun, we want Uzis. Every gun that, we, that we'd seen in Terminator or Commando or, you know, all those films are all inspiring us. Let's make a list of weapons, pick the ones that make them unique and that we can feel like we're leveling up. Then we started implementing the minigun and the flamethrower. And it really was the artist that, make it, that made it quite sick in the way that he was, that he burned to death in a pile of ash. 